Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is a process video for Scrap Madness, a video a day. And this is the pin inspiration that I am going to be using for this layout. So as we've been doing this, now this is going up on the odd days. Um, like I have explained in the previous past and then my welcome video to Scrap Madness last year, We've done it a little bit different and Laura and I did it a video, literally a video a day where her and I literally had people join us, this, that, and the other. And I love that we changed it up this year and we're on odd days. I'm on odd days along with Katie over at the Scrappy Sisters and Jessica and Laura are on the, ev the even days of the month of March. So... I am obviously up today along with Katie, so everything will be linked down below. Make sure that you go like and subscribe to everybody's channel. There is only three channels because Jessica and Katie do share the same channel, but there will literally be an every other day layout up on their channel. So that is the awesome part, and I'm so glad that they joined us. I love, love, love the fact that they joined us and wanted to do this um, series and we just wanted to change it up because we always do it now you guys know that we do stuff in September and then you know I'm the one that started um, Scrap Madness in March because I think it's just cool you know to incorporate basketball in with my scrapping because basketball y'all it's my life y'all know this is my life <laughs> so okay so this is going up on one of the odd days I don't know which, I'm not even keeping track. I've just been doing voiceover after voiceover, so it's one of the odd days. I know it's in the beginning of March. Um, and what I decided to do is, is that I happened to go through Pinterest when I was making up these videos. Now, I have filmed these. The first few months, I or the first few videos have been filmed quite a bit early in, the, in February so that I can stay ahead because I have ton and tons and tons of design team layouts that are coming up on my odd days and they were gracious enough to make sure that I was on the odd days because the whole month of March over at the Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop, that is her birthday because of that being the one year anniversary of Confessions of the Paper Attic Cut File Shop being open was in the month of March last year. And I joined um, the hop that they had or that Virginia had and then I've been on her design team now two terms. So I let me, let me tell you, I absolutely positively love her cut files. And so a lot of my video a day for my odd days are gonna be from the Confessions but I also have tons of other things that are on my channel. Just so you know that I still am doing Scrap Lift Sundays. I have some hops going on my channel. I've got all my design team ones for Shimmer's Paints. Um, all of that. So, like I said, my channel will be packed, jam-packed. Even if I don't have, if I have to put a video on the even day, you're going to see it. Like, I'm not going to drop that down just because of that. So... But I am definitely excited for this. I am so excited. So be ready for a video a day from all three of us, or all four of us actually. So there will always be a video a day um, from two of us, no matter which one it is. So here I am. I am just definitely making sure that all of these papers are set up correctly. And I am going to make sure that all of these are flush and ready to go so that they're straight because you're going to see that I add a bunch of different little clusters down the paper. And I do do a bunch of hand stitching or not machine stitching, not hand stitching. I finally figured out what in the tarnation was wrong with this bad boy. Um, I did not realize that I put in a piece of the, because the bob, the bobbin ran out. And I did not realize that I put one of the pieces backwards. And that's why the tension was not right at all. And it was, and I was like, I couldn't figure that out. And all of a sudden I realized it. And that, that was like, yay. So now I got my machine back. And I did this outside of some of my other ones. This was like when I figured it out. So I've already hand stitched and machine stitched already a bunch of times since I filmed this one. 
but that was what it was. I fixed it was because of that reason. So I'm just showing you that I'm putting all of these little pieces of thread. I did do a gray thread, as you can tell. And I just loved how this turned out. I loved the zigzagging that I did do on it. I just liked how, you know, how it turned out. And I took all of the, the threads and stuff and I placed them on the back. And then you'll see me, if I remember correctly, yeah, I do add a border to this as well. And now these photos. These photos are in going into my daughter's first, oh yeah, and I'm, she's, by the way, she's going to check in on here a couple of times because she's learning how to multiply. And I'm showing her a couple of strategies that I teach my third graders so that she is ready to go for third grade when she gets in there. Because she is on a third grade level being in second grade for math. So I'm working on her. So you'll see me work through this as you're... As I'm doing this but um, I am these are first grade yes these are first grade pictures so I'm still doing her first grade year and this was back in September so I'm trying to just catch her up actually I'm pretty well caught up because this was in October and I've done quite a bit of other layouts anyway so I had to go backwards and I'm just trying to stay a little um, like within the dates of everything just so that I'm not missing any of them and I'm just going through all of this and I'm adding all of the colors and this kit I put together with two kits I'm finishing up either September or October um, it's, I think it's October's I think it's October's hip kit along with Sept um, a kit that I got from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. It was Simple Stories line that came out. It actually matches really, really well. And so you're going to see me use this collection again to finish up. I think I've got another set of photos from that same day. Yeah, I do. I have four photos, five photos that I've got to film yet for that. And that's going to go up on my channel. So you'll see me finish it up. And so yeah, so now I'm just placing everything down. You'll see me um, I popped that one up on foam tape and the other one is down. So as you can tell, I am just going through things, trying to figure out what I'm going to use as my title and just now embellish that, that side right there, getting them all down. There's some, it's kind of like acrylic acetate. No, they're not acetate. I don't even know what type of leaves you would call these. But I'm just adding in these little pieces that I have left over from this. I'm trying to use this collection up so I can say, yep, it's done and I can disband it and keep whatever I need to and then essentially throw away the little bits of odds and ends that I have left over that I never keep. Because you all know me, I don't keep things in my kit unless it's a major amount. So I hope that you are enjoying this. As I was looking and talking to you, I looked at it. This is going up on the 5th of March, so we're only five days in. But you've already gotten 10 layouts out of us for the month. So make sure that you keep checking back, either um, obviously on Jessica and um, Katie's channel. Every day you're going to see a layout from one of them. And then you just make sure that you um, rotate between Laura and I. Because we will definitely have one. And she's going to be doing the same thing along with Katie and Jessica. If it's a design team layout, that's what's going to go up. If it's a collaboration that they have joined together, that's going to go up on their channel. And you'll just get tons and tons of inspiration from all of us. So I'm super duper excited for this. And I just was making it different like I always do. And when I talked to Laura about this the first time around, I was like, oh yeah, let's do this. And then I said, let's change it up this year because with teaching, I know that I can get 15 layouts done in a, in a month because I would, I started, we talked about this like the end of January. So we had all month, um, all month to go in and do our layouts, like the whole month of February and like two weeks of January. And then of course, obviously the whole month of March, you know, as we go along, because I try to stay what I do is, is I try to stay about a week and a half ahead of my DT and have them all scheduled so that I'm not like trying to stress about getting a layout in on the day it's due or 
something like that. So I've always stayed ahead of time. I'm not too worried about it, but I'm excited. And so, yeah, so here I am. Here are all my little clusters and all of that kind of stuff. And I absolutely love how this turns out. I think it is just perfect for this layout. It is a picture of my husband and I, or my husband and my daughter are in the fr the top picture in the, by the truck. And the other photos that I am scrapbooking is right by that is going to be the complimentary page to this is just Kaylin. And she is at different spots of seeds um, or sneeds or steeds. Yeah, steeds um, dairy. Now, this is a true dairy farm. They actually do do dairy. You know, they do milk cows and all that kind of stuff and have a farm literally there. But they set up and they have where you can go farming and go check the corn maze and help milk a cow and watch a cow being milked and all of this stuff. It's got pumpkins that you can purchase, all of that jazz. So that's all there for us. And I just absolutely love it. We weren't able to go to it this year or this this past year in 2019 because I just started um, school. And I'm going to be honest, now that I've got my routine down, now I know I can go back to having like a life outside of you know, outside of school, I felt like all I was doing was school, school, school. And that was just because I didn't know my routine. I didn't know my time management, like how I was going to rotate my time management in and that kind of stuff. You know, just a new job. That's just how it was. It's an, it was a brand new job for me. Even though I was substituting last year, I still had tons of free time where this time literally everything is either grading papers, doing lesson plans or coaching or something. And so I just love that now I finally got everything down and everything's working well and it's just like an oiled machine. So I'm almost done here. I'm just adding all these little bits. The still shots are definitely coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get um, the notification each and every time that I do upload. On a normal month and a normal week, I do upload between two to three times a week. So I would love to have you here if you are new, if you are a veteran one of mine, thank you for checking in on me and looking at my layouts and watching my process video. If you are new, I hope that you would like to stay and welcome and I would love to have you to my family. I'm going to round out with some shimmer paints here and I will talk to you soon. Bye!